In today's video, we are going to talk about the best home remedies for cat colds. Is your cat sneezing so frequently that you feel like handing him a box of tissues? Your cat may be sneezing for any of many reasons. The culprit may be sinusitis, a cold, or allergy. While sinusitis or a cold usually clears up on its own, an allergy needs to be identified and resolved. Your feline friend could be allergic to any number of allergens, including cleaning products, grooming products, dust, or even outdoor pollen if your cat is an indoor or outdoor pet. An occasional sneeze in a cat is normal and no real cause for alarm. Just as in humans, sneezing in cats is an explosive release of air through the nose and mouth, often the body's response to irritants in the nasal passages. Sometimes, excitement or movement can bring on sneezing in cats. However, if your cat's sneezing won't go away, or if other symptoms have cropped up along with sneezing, you may need to check with your veterinarian to see if treatment is needed. Causes of sneezing If your cat is sneezing a lot, your veterinarian may initially suspect a cause based on a review of your cat's symptoms. One of the main causes of sneezing is infection. In some cases, the vet may take a swab from the mouth, throat, eyes, or nose and send it to a lab to confirm an infection. Inhaled irritants or allergens are other common causes of sneezing in cats. Viral, bacterial, or fungal infections. If you've got a sneezing cat, chances are good the cat has an upper respiratory infection. Similar to colds in humans, these infections are more common in young cats, especially in those coming from animal shelters. Many of these infections can be prevented with early and complete vaccinations. Viral infections that cause sneezing in cats. Feline herpes virus. Cats catch herpes from exposure to other cats who are infected. Stress can cause a flare-up as well as transmission to other cats. Treatment is aimed at controlling the symptoms. Feline herpes virus is not contagious to humans. Feline Khaleesi virus. This virus is highly contagious among cats. Mouth ulcers are the most common problem, but it can affect the respiratory tract and even cause pneumonia. These infections may make your cat more likely to develop other respiratory problems that can exacerbate sneezing. For example, a cat with herpes may also develop a secondary bacterial infection. These are often treatable with antibiotics. A wide range of other infections may also lead to sneezing. Feline infectious peritonitis which may cause no symptoms, mild symptoms, or more severe symptoms over time. Feline immunodeficiency virus, which develops slowly, but severely impacts a cat's immune system, leaving the cat vulnerable to other infections. Feline leukemia, a serious and often fatal infection. Chlamydia, which often produces an eye infection. Bordetella. Mycoplasma. Inhaled irritants or allergens. If your cat only sneezes once in a while, Something may simply be irritating the nasal passages. Look for patterns in your cat's sneezing. Does it occur after you've lit the candles at the dinner table? After your cat leaves the litter box? After you've cleaned the house? These are all examples of potential irritants or allergens. Cigarette smoke. Perfume. Pest sprays. Cat litter, especially types that create dust. Cleaning agents. Candles. Dust. Pollen. Mold. In cats, allergies are a less common cause of sneezing than in humans. If sneezing is related to allergies, sometimes itchy skin is also present. Other potential causes of sneezing. A variety of other factors may contribute to sneezing in cats. For example, it's common for cats to experience sneezing within four to seven days of receiving an intranasal vaccine. This sneezing lasts for no more than several days. Cats may also sneeze to try to dislodge a blockage in their nasal passages. An infection or inflammation of a tooth root may cause drainage into the sinuses and may also cause sneezing. In very rare cases, sneezing in cats can be a sign of cancer. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Home Remedies for Cat Colds Keep the nasal passages clear. A cat with a cold often doesn't want to eat because she can't smell her food. You can wet a cotton ball with warm water and gently wipe away any nasal discharge. Make sure that you don't use a paper towel or dry washcloth because this can irritate the sensitive tissues around a cat's nose. Wipe away the discharge as often as needed throughout the day. If you don't do it often enough, the discharge can accumulate and become very crusty and harder to remove. Create some steam. A congested cat can't breathe very well. You may even hear a wheezing or whistling sound as your cat breathes. Take your cat into the bathroom and close the door. Turn on the shower to hot for 5 to 10 minutes and stay in the bathroom with your cat. 
Do this at least twice a day until you notice that your cat feels better. The steam can help soothe and open the nasal passages. You can also use a humidifier in the room where your cat sleeps at night. Keep the eyes clean from discharge. Cats with colds may have clear or slightly yellow discharge. If your cat has a thick green discharge, or she can't open her eyes, she may have an eye infection and will need to see your veterinarian. You don't want to let this discharge accumulate because it can become dry and crusty and cause more irritation to the eyes. You can take a piece of gauze soaked in saline or warm water and gently wipe away any discharge. If the discharge has become hard, you can use a warm washcloth and gently hold it over the eyes to soften it before trying to remove it. Do this as often as needed throughout the day. Encourage your cat to eat. Some cats just won't eat even though you have cleaned their nasal passages and eyes. You can encourage them to eat by offering them warmed wet cat food or pureed baby food meat. Offering small amounts of tuna, tuna juice, or sardines can also help entice them to eat. Try to offer smaller meals three to four times throughout day while your kitty is not feeling well. Boost your immune system with probiotics. Cats with a cold often need an immune system boost. A large portion of a cat's immune system is in her gut, just like humans. Using a probiotic like Fortiflora or Proviabol on top of her food during a cold can help the immune system fight the cold. Another benefit is that cats often love the taste, and this can further encourage them to eat. Follow the label directions for the amount of probiotic to use. You can't overdose on a probiotic but it isn't necessary to use more than the label dose unless directed by your veterinarian. Use homeopathy. Homeopathy has been around for many years. It is based on the premise that the body can heal itself. There are veterinarians that believe in its worth and veterinarians that don't. However, many cats respond well to homeopathic drops when they have a cold. A good general remedy is homeopathic feline nose relief. You can give the drops orally, in food, or even in water. The usual dosage is 5 to 10 drops depending on the size of your cat. You may notice a little nasal discharge or the occasional sneeze. Just like humans, the occasional sneeze is nothing to worry about. If it's excessive, however, check with your vet. Sneezing can be a sign of other diseases such as allergies or rhinitis. A cold will go away on its own. Often a cat will not seem very sick when she has a cold. In cases of a mild cold, your cat will continue to eat and drink and might just need a little extra TLC. A simple cold can go away on its own and usually lasts for 7 to 10 days. When home remedies aren't working. If it has been more than 2 days and you have tried these home remedies and your cat still is not eating, is not drinking, is severely congested, is sneezing multiple times a day, or with bloody discharge, is lethargic. Then it is time to call your veterinarian and schedule an exam. Colds in kittens need immediate attention. If you have a young kitten under 16 weeks of age, do not wait more than 24 hours to seek veterinary care because their immune system is not yet developed. Kittens need much earlier intervention than adult cats. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.